James Barrett Sterling for Merston TV. As part of our initiative this season, we're going to be bringing you not just the football, but we're going to look at stuff happening around the club as well. And I've been very fortunate to be joined by Sarah Collette, who uh, is a big figure for the ladies uh, football here at uh, Moatside. Sarah, thank you for joining us. Um, do you want to just give the viewers a little bit of background about your uh, role within Merston Football Club? Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, I've been here for about five years now. I started off just helping being the child welfare officer for the youth, just making sure that all the safeguarding and stuff is all taken care of, all the children are protective. Um, I also um, play for the ladies team again about five years ago uh, a couple of years ago I took it on in a managerial role because the lady that, that was doing it stepped down but I have been playing here for that long uh, last year we launched um, the FA initiative which is called Wildcats which is for girls football aged between 5 and 11 and have been so successful that we've actually entered two girls teams into league football this season. So uh, yeah, it's been a very busy sort of five years, but it's been a whole world of fun. Uh, the girls and women's game is absolutely growing at a rate of knots. At the moment, the ladies are uh, playing rec football. Um, we've been in there three seasons now. Uh, finished fourth in the league last season, nice. which we're really happy about, and able to enter two teams into this coming season as well, which is, uh, again, something that we're really proud of. Fantastic. So normally for the players, the summer's a, a nice little period where they have some time off, etc. Yeah. But I bet for, for someone like yourself, it's probably a bit different, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, because then, I mean, you, it, we've had a couple of weeks downtime. We have had that, and it's been really, really nice. Um, it's just to regroup, but it gives you another chance to then plan the strategy for the coming season. So, you know, we're looking to grow the women's game here at Merston. We've, like I said, we've got two rec teams as it stands. We've got the girls. Girls can join here from five and play all the way up till like they're 65 years old, but we don't actually have a team that's bang on in the middle. So we're kind of looking at recruiting 18 plus so we can, you know, have a first team, ladies first team in essence, where we can, we're on par with the likes of Leatherhead, um, Whiteleaf, Dorking, that kind of thing. So we can actually have, you know, a competitive ladies team in, in the mix of that, which gives the girls a pathway as I said, right up from five, right all the way up until, well, as long as they want, but no, no top age limit. Excellent, excellent. And, and how can any interested parties get in contact with you about that? Well, we've got lots of social media. We've got, depending on which avenue you want to go, we've got um, obviously the Wildcats on social media, Merston Wildcats on Facebook. Um, Merston Ladies are on Facebook. You can contact me directly. I'm, I'm quite sort of open to on Twitter, um, on Instagram. We're on all platforms, um, but they can email me directly or give me a call. Not a problem. Excellent. And what's the long term plan? So once you get a, an established ladies team in for, to fill that middle ground, what, what then? It's to keep growing. It's just to keep growing. It, the ideal plan would to, to be ha to be having a girls team on every age group. So literally, you can join at five in a mini soccer school. You can play for a couple of years at mini soccer. Then from under eights all the way up to like under 18s and then we go into the ladies and then we have the rec team still going strong. So uh, yeah, it's just to keep the, keep the consistency and keep the teams growing. Excellent, good stuff. That'll mean you're a very busy lady if that happens though, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. But you know what, without sounding like a cliche, I love it. I love playing football. I love organising it. I love watching it grow. I love seeing all the feedback that we get, all the interactions. And what is really, really special is seeing the girls forming new friendships and they, they've got these friendships as football as their base. They might not have known each other before, but now they're sort of hanging out outside of school because they've got friendships there, which is absolutely superb. That's great. That is great. And just one final question. How big a, a note was it that the Lionesses brought it home this summer? And what a boost for the ladies game as well. Honestly, that has been sensational. Really, really has. If you think that they put it right out there, they they won the best possible, you know, the best possible prize. And because of that, we've had so much interest. Really, really have so much. So we've brought our training forward. We're actually restarting our training on Monday um, just because of the level of interest that we've had. So, uh, yeah, they are. Uh, they've done the country proud for sure. Fantastic. Well, Sarah, thank you for joining us on Merson TV. And if you are interested in joining any of the ladies teams here at the football club, www.mersonfc.com. .co.uk get involved thank you